And we're back. So what are we doing this time? This is your last chance. All right. Oh, God. Apparently it isn't. You were incorrect. Oh. He gets as many chances as he wants, and we only get one because we're a dick. Uh, he's oh. pissed off that we broke. <laughs> he's pissed off we cut through his wall. <laughs> <laughs> Panties from Orange County. Ha! Huh. Yeah. Apparently, our mom is a pain slut. Wow. Yeah, that's hardcore. Fortunately, we don't like our moms, so we're kind of okay with that. Wow, now he's uh, literally referencing Star Wars. Only we're supposed to be doing that. What the fuck? Come oh on. man, and he had sex with our mom. Oh. He is extraordinarily erotic, however. So we can tell him that he's disgusting, or we can tell him to go fuck himself? He's disgusting. Oh, nope, we failed. Are you serious? Yep. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, probably just rush through this the way I think I remember doing it the first time because this is gonna be ridiculous. Right. We are going to break the you die and I immediately restart the video gimmick, but, uh, yeah. Well. Yeah. Don't you want those daily uploads, Zach? Yeah, f God. So the idea here is that you have to, yeah, just keep them talking, and it, there's, this is kind of an annoying puzzle. <laughs> this is kind of the the con to this game as opposed to Mage of the Ascension. Um, I think this game has more choices which actually affect things, which is good. But there's also a bunch of just times where you just die, which is, which is the classic uh, choose-your-own-adventure problem, where there's really, like, no way to tell. Yeah. Like, there was that one choice where it's like, do you want to go up or down? Uh, down. Okay, well, you died. Alright, up. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, that was really cool. The annoying thing is that, like, sometimes he'll go through, like, walls of text before he kills you. <laughs> yeah. And we're from Orange County. Okay, so what's you've got me outclassed? Uh, that's what I think it's supposed to be. Alright. Because we're trying to, like, keep him talking, basically, not insult him. Um, and then the last time you get a choice where basically the last two are insulting no matter what, and I, I'll i just try the other one that we didn't do before. Yeah, what the hell? I would have thought fuck off is more dismissive and more conversation ending. Like, what the hell? Yeah. 
That's the only logic there could possibly be to this puzzle. But he is extraordinarily erotic, so that's why we're telling him to go fuck himself. Sure. Anyway, we'll see if this kills us. Nope! Hey. <laughs> That's stupid. So there are rats here. Are we going to see where they're going, or are we going to go the other way? Uh, I get the logic, because, like, oh, rats know the way out, but also, like, rats can be lured over to the vampires as a food thing, although that's more of a Nosferatu thing than a Tremere yeah. thing. Oh, sure, follow the rats. All right, good. <laughs> We're getting to the part of the Let's Play where I'm seriously considering intervening when I hear you starting to go down the wrong path. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Alright, so everyone's just texting to yell at us. And we're pointing out that Marco was the worst Batman. Sure. So, we can tell him that we have the sigil, which is why he'll never find us, or we'll point out that everyone at his party is on their phone, which is why he won't be able to find us. Okay, surely giving away the thing that's protecting us is the wrong choice. Yeah, surely. I don't remember exactly, but I, I th I'm pretty sure that's not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, so the people are on their phone or whatever. We'll see. I actually don't remember this one, so we'll see if we die here. Looks good so far. Uh, now mom's story. texting us about how uh, she's getting fucked by Marco. How does that make sense, though? You'll never find me because everyone's on your they're on their phone. Because we're on our phone. That's our. He's looking for someone who he's texting to, but everyone here is texting. Oh, it's 2018. Does he, have, does he not have a description of what we actually look like? Um. Well, we don't have a description of what we look like, so I he can't. Ah, sure. Although he is having sex with our mom. Man, and he's fondling ain'ts too. This guy is way cooler than us. He's having sex with all of the women in our life. Yeah, jokes on him when we somehow beat him or something. <laughs> yeah. I bet Marco never crawled through walls. That's true. Yeah, jokes on him. We ruined his house. <laughs> <laughs> So, we can try and run away from him, or we can try and kill this guy. Kill, the, kill this guy? Who's this guy? Um, the, the Tremere Regent who's trying to kill us. Marco? Yeah. Surely... Uh... Well, I mean, he's distracted, supposedly. Yeah. I mean, he is just going to keep coming after us. Uh, okay, fine, kill. All right. I know we do kill him in the end, but I don't know if this is the right choice. We'll see. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's the thing. It's like, well, surely the outcome of a story like this is that he dies, but is it now? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, we made the right choice. So, uh, what happened is, this is kind of annoying, so, uh, we're describing it after the fact what we did, but we can still die, despite the fact that we're explaining it in the past tense. 
So do we sneak around the corner, pretend to give in to Marco, or leap down off the stairs? Oh, for fuck's sake. He, I mean, he's supposedly distracted, so surely leaping down? Or sneaking up. Oh, sneaking up, yeah, okay, sneaking up around the corner. Alright, we'll try that one first. I really don't remember how this goes. Alright, so now we have to choose. Do we go at Marco, or do we go at, uh, Anise? Oh. I, I hate that I don't actually remember how to win this. <laughs> We're gonna be here for the next, like, 30 parts. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> you watching on YouTube can tell whether or not we're about to make the right choice by looking at the time remaining, but... Not if I stall my decision. <laughs> That's true. Oh, fuck's sake. Uh, how do, I mean, like... It's really annoying, because I'm not using actual logic here. I'm trying to think, like, what the writers expect, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like Marco is the, the too obvious one, and sh so we should kill Anise first. All right, we'll try it. Yeah, let's, let's go it. with that. I thought she was gonna break my mouth open on the coffee table. Ah, but then well, Alfonso did. saved us. Oh, yes. All right, so it distracted her long enough for us to try and kick Marco or to take the knife she's carrying. Don't we already have our own knife? We have a stake, although I think the most important thing is that we are disarming her before she just comes up behind us and stabs us. Yeah, well, surely kicking Marco is going to do nothing, so yeah, get her knife. <laughs> yeah, he's the most power. He's a super powerful wizard, and we kicked him. Ah, yes. In the jaw, yes. though, in fairness. Yeah, that's true. We're not dead yet. So, Marco started chanting, and then Sammy and Ricky came in like a fucking hurricane. And he did something to Ricky. He did something to Ricky. So, oh god. Do we lay still on the coffee table, scramble towards him, or wait till he seemed off balance? Uh -huh. Off balance? I think that's the right choice, but we'll find out. Nope, we died. Yep. Mm. Well, alright, we'll see you in the next part. Looks like, sorry guys. <laughs>